Howdy folks, Cowboy Joe here with a recapitulation of a lecture on the tangent line. And your goal by the end of this video lecture is to be able to draw the tangent line on a line of best fit and calculate the slope of a tangent line. So if I were to ask you to calculate the slope, find two points on that line and draw a vertical line and a horizontal line and find the length of the vertical line and find the length of the horizontal line and divide them. And you would get your slope, 0 0.075 centimeters per gram for this particular line. This is a graph of a runner running a 20 meter race. A parabolic curve indicates that the speed is increasing. Can we show that with the slope? The slope of a position time graph is the speed. So if we were to calculate the slope of the curve at two, two meters is in between zero and four right here. So we'd need to calculate the slope at this point. What does that mean? How does that even work? Well, this line curves and to get the slope, you need two points on a line. We can't take two points on a curve because the slope of this line is changing. So that brings us to the definition of tangent. The tangent's definition is the best straight line approximation to the curve at a certain point. It looks like a line drawn right next to the curve and the line just continued straight in both directions. So now looking at the slope of the curve at two meters, we need to draw a tangent line. And this orange line represents the tangent line. So now we can pick any two points on that line and get the slope. So if we measured the vertical height of that triangle down to the bottom and the horizontal of that triangle, we could get two numbers that would represent the rise over the run and divide them to get the answer. So at two meters, this runner was running at 6.1 meters per second at two meters. Well, what about seven meters? It should be different. So at seven meters, if we extended this line and drew a tangent, it would look like this. So again, that line right there is your tangent line. It's the best straight line approximation at that point. Now we need to find a slope of that tangent line. So if we drew a vertical line and a horizontal line, and we measured the length of that vertical line and the length of the horizontal line, we would get our rise over run. And dividing them would get 11, which is more than 6.1. So at two meters, the runner was running at 6.1. But at seven meters, he's moving, or this runner is moving a little bit faster at 11. So now let's look at 11 meters. So if we were to find 11 meters, eight, 12, tens in the middle, so 11 would be right here, and right at the tip of the mouse. If we drew a line, that would be the tangent, the best straight line approximation at the point. So if we looked at this line at 11.1 and maybe 10.9, it would appear to be straight. Imagine that little line in the middle just extending in both directions. That's what we call the tangent line. Again, we draw the vertical line and the horizontal line. We find the difference in the y over the difference in the x's, and we get the slope. So now we're moving at 14.8 meters per second. And it does appear that we... Our tangent line will get a little steeper, so this runner does get a little faster before the end. But that's it. So hopefully you can draw the tangent line on a curve and calculate the slope of that tangent line. Cowboy Joe out.